Good day and welcome to Lieutenant Danbear Participates. In today's video, we explore the concept of peak Verdansk. I feel we've reached a saturation point. You can get some memes out of it, like this, hitting lads with bricks. But most of the time, you're just dropping in and it's like, you barely even pulled your shoe. You're like looking for a long pull here. Like gonna head down to train station, I'm already getting shot in the back. I'm just out of the goddamn plane. Um so I get shot again I believe. Yeah yeah, there he lands another one, and then I try and hit him and uh spin around and this man is juking me in the air. Yes. I've seen some cracked out movement lately. I tried camping a doorway there last night and a man ran in like he was on steroids ran around me and blew me away um, that's what I get for camping but like this shit is my mind and it's it, I don't know if it's the same character and it didn't load in properly initially but it's right there anyway yeah. so pick up this LMG and ruin her day like them fucking apples you cunt as you can tell I wasn't too happy with that so jump on a bike and try and become some sort of Vigilante for justice. I've got the biker look. I've got a bike. Bikers would probably like scoff at me now driving the scrambler around for dance, but yeah, you gotta use what you got. So I'm being chased by some prick. So I drive up here and then I just hit the biggest boost of energy. I don't know where that came from, like, because I had no momentum. But I'll take it. I needed it. I wish there was a boost button. We'll make ramps a lot cooler. So he's after jumping on the quad. I drive back down. I'm after... Oh yeah, I'm missing the bounties. Must be the dude that's hunting me. At least he's not getting paid for it anymore. He changes seats. I try to do the same. And then I miss all my shots. Stupid MP5. Oh, I can't believe that. By the time like, I get over to the LMG, he has me ruined. But he does this. Oh, you're so shit! And I celebrate accordingly because I'm getting toxic because of the way I'm playing. And then this happens. <laughs> Excuse me? That's peak for Dansk. It's on fire. I can't handle it anymore. I'm going on holidays. I'm going to the French countryside. It's Battlefield 5. You've been duped! Ah. Uh, I've been playing BF4 lately, I love it, but BF5, um, it's, it's the first battlefield I've played since 1942, um, and it's just fantastic. I don't know what it is, I think it's the movement and the the gunplay in BF4, I just can't get on board with it. I, like The game is more interesting to me with the attachments and the um, availability of guns and some of the levels, but... Uh, like, you can't deny that, like, an eight-year-old game isn't as good as one that's three years old. Um, I know loads of people hate PF5, but I've been... I enjoy it, like... Um, like, I think if they bring over a lot of the movement and gunplay from BF5 to uh, BF2042 with the guns and the... The level design of BF4, I think they'll be on to an absolute winner. So Lassie there pointed this man out on the stairs, prone with an LMG. That's Battlefield for you. So come around here, try and dynamite this man. Yes, on that one, he tries to do a ram raid and then I shoot him in the bum with my rocket launcher. Catch this man on the crossing, get wrecked. And then toss grenade up here try and clear this all out and this is a rare occasion that I'm playing Aras uh, one of my favorite levels in BF5 without a sniper rifle um, I needed to level up the Gewehr 43 here um, and uh, I just said I'd give it a go I need to unlock some detachable box magazines because uh, no sir no camping around corners prone. That's not fair. It's very battlefield of you. And um, because this thing uses stripper clips, that's what I was trying to say, 
uh, before I get distracted. Um, and the strip clips, if you don't have an even five round reload, it's a disaster. Shoot this man in the face and we're pushing to D. Um, one of the things I really like about ba Battlefield is you have to use semi-auto sometimes. I know this is a semi-auto gun um, and I potato aim here. Uh, two on one. I got an assist count skill. I'll take it. Uh, so usually you have to clear out the back because their spawn is uh, just beyond that. So I kind of knew they'd be pushing in from that side. So I try and clear out the back here a bit more before moving on. Just make sure no one else is coming in. And I'm moving back down to E. Uh, see two lads. So I'm gonna chase them down. So what right do they have to take E? Uh, I must be taking E because my fucking name is shit. Come around here. Don't realize I, I, I have one of those moments. Do I know you? Do we meet before? Pause a little too long, but uh, get the kill in, get the heals. Come over here to get help, but some fine gentleman supplied me with a help pack, so we're happy out. Um, but yeah, as I was saying... Um, the fact that you have to use semi-auto over distances, like in BF4, if you have a fully auto AR, you can't just hose people from 100 meters away. This man saves my uh, KD here. I think we're on 18 and 1 at the moment. But um, as I was saying, you can't just hose people from distance. You have to change it to semi-auto and it just raises the skill ceiling a bit more. Lowers the time to kill a small bit because it's harder to beam people with semi-auto as they're running from miles away. Uh, missing all my shots here. Shoot them in the face eventually. Um, but yeah, I just appreciate that. Um, like you can still hose them up close. But uh, it just gives a bit more variety to the game. Makes things a bit more interesting in my opinion. Also, snipers aren't one shot kill if you have 100 health. You have to hit headshots, um, which is which it makes it more balanced, I think. And um, makes it a bit more like playing uh, Verdansk. Didn't see this man because he was hiding behind a body. Finished on 19 and 1. Spawned in on my teammate here. Tried to help him clear out these rats. Uh, but we didn't realize there was someone behind. So we're coming up on F. Hit him with the old semi-auto. See, like, that's a much more reasonable time to kill. Uh, I thought this was an AA gun, not an AA tank, which kind of really changes the game a bit. Uh, he's after taking out my mate, but I got the rocket off just before the LMG dude blew my face clean off. And I got rest. Gent. So I'm going to try and drop the roof on this lad. But one thing that is annoying about Battlefield 5 versus Battlefield 4 is in Battlefield 4 you can drop the whole building, more or less. Uh, in this, they won't let you take out the whole building. Uh, aim assist catching me here. It's a little less strong than COD, so you can actually get on target if they're running. Um, what's that LMG prick again? He destroyed me. I think this is him around here. Whoever he is anyway, he's dead. Um, I can't remember what I was talking about. It is not important. Got destroyed by the Type 100. That SMG kills me more than any other, I think. I can't use it, it recoils too much, but... That's neither here nor there. Playing sneaky sneaky. Gonna sneak up in this tank. Stick him with two dynamite and run away. And then someone spawns in and jumps out of the back of it. That is what you call COD timing. So push up on A. Try and get this man. And my recoil control is on its 15 minute break here. Your man took him out. Throw a little grenade. He's running to the right. I'm going to come around from the other side so he doesn't expect me. And of course he's prone. Fuck. That's Battlefield. You can say certain things are distinctly God, but like going prone in random places is Battlefield. And the fact that it works for you so often is mind-boggling. 
think you had a lot of that at the start of Modern Warfare. Maybe it was a lot of Battlefield players came over. You know, that's just going prone in corners. Drive you mad. Oh, and they're doing a big push here today. Get him at least. Come around the back. That's a popular hiding spot for snipers. Come around here, and here's another popular one if you're pushing A. Got a one shot on him, and then get destroyed from the side. We're doing very well, though. Spawn back in on F. Try and take this with my teammates. And we have a tiger tank. And that thing just swallows rockets whole. I was hoping to get him in the bum, but uh, he, he's still creeping along. I need some more ammo now because uh, I only have dynamite or I could potentially throw an anti-tank grenade, but I completely forgot about the anti-tank grenade at this point. And by the time I get ammo, he's already done it. Look. <laughs> ah. This is some saving private range yet. Beating a man to death in the middle of an artillery strike. Destroy your man. Nearly got done in by the aim assist there again. Push down C. Give a little marker for the teammates. And this is what I mean about like it's difficult to hit your shots. If I was fully auto now and I had like a 3x go if I had a fire, you know, he'd be dead. When you have to, you've only 10 rounds and you have to be conservative with them, it slows it down. It's nice. Still doing really well. Oh my god, my potato aim. Hit him for 90. Can't be mad at those sideburns though. But what I do know is he will be pushing down from F to take C. I've just spawned back in at C. And because I'm the squad leader, I have all the points, and I have a B1 rocket. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to come around here, and I'm going to put some suppressing fire to make them stay and try and shoot me. Keep them in place a little longer, just long enough to that, for that beautiful rocket to come in. A terrifying engine sound. And there we go. Five kills to finish out the game. One ticket left, and they ain't got a chance. Battlefield 365, baby. If you enjoy the video, please leave a like, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.